Dr. Ahmed here, coming to you once again from my windowless cubicle in hell, somewhere in the city of Tulsa, in the state of Oklahoma. When I came to work this morning, I discovered that I had forgotten my key card, so I couldn't get into my windowless cubicle in hell, or even into the building for that matter. So, ironically enough, I had to be let into my cage. Now, the herpy, that is to say, the human resources person, kindly provided me with a temporary card. And uh, now I can come and go, sort of, as I please. When we first got electric uh, key card locks installed in this building, I happened to write a poem about doors and locks and here it is. The lady opens the door. Doors. So many doors. Open doors, closed doors, doors with biometric locks, doors of perception, and doors of the heart. I have a private door of manic perception. To this door, I have the key. The key is in my pocket. This door, like a faithful bloodhound, scents me out and follows me always and everywhere. Some doors require a card, name and number, written in the alphabet of ones and zeros with the magic of electromagnetism. An approved card will make the red light turn green and the penitent will receive the holy beep and click. Other doors, the thumbprint or the retina of the eye unlocks the door to the blessed sanctum or scriptorium where every brother and sister has a workstation. Some doors, you just have to know the password or know somebody who knows somebody, like at a speakeasy or blind pig. There are doors that not even a ghost like me can slip under the threshold like a bad poem, or fall through the mail slot like a misaddressed love letter. Some doors, the threshold just doesn't agree with my ectoplasm, if you know what I mean. But all the doors will unscrew their locks and jams. The lady opens the door. The lady opens the door, and I pass over the threshold, whether I will or no. The lady has the skeleton on me. I guess you could say, the lady has an open door policy, except when she doesn't. I always have my private door, and I have the key. The key is in my pocket. I was born with the key in my hand. I wasn't born with pockets, and I lived for years at a time at the lost and found until I found pockets to hold my key. The lady gives what she takes and takes what she gives. The lady opens the door, and my out goes in, and my in goes out. Consider my poetry and art a symptom and byproduct. Like a crock, like a carny on the midway, I sell tickets not to the hall of mirrors, but to the hall of doors. See the freaks. The lady opens the door. Well, I made a couple of bottles, but that's not a bad cold read. I 